Welcome, Happy New Year. Thanks for watching. It got me to thinking that maybe, uh, maybe do a video on what I carry with me on a trail ride. So over here on my, my table, I've got everything that I take with me to a trail ride. Um, this is gonna be a little bit different. When I'm riding around the neighborhood, I like to be as minimal as possible. Nothing on my body, you know, I'll have my phone, maybe my ID, you know, if I get ran over by a car, it's a good idea to have some ID or uh, an emergency contact on you uh, somewhere, usually on your phone, you can set that up. I've started recently carrying a tube with me and I'm using the, uh, what is it called? I think it's 1UP. It's, uh, yeah, a 1UP components. It's just a rubber strap and it secures uh, the, the tube to the frame. Um, so this is a tube that I carry now, just in case if I get a flat, I figured, if I do have the CO2 cartridges, but um, you know, if they don't work, I can always, you know, throw a tube in there if need be. It doesn't seem to mess up the frame. Um, I've had it on here for the last few rides. Um, I take it off when I get home, so that way I can, you know, clean out any dirt or anything like here. The the frame's a little dirty right now. I just went on a ride this morning. Um, try to get this dust out of here, and then I'll just set it on the the workbench for the next ride. Um, it just basically uh, goes on here just like so and actually I think I had it this way it doesn't really matter um, it loops through yeah that's how I had it put it all the way back or wherever you want it this is where I like it just give it a nice nice pull it's where you got a lot of tension in there and then feed it through one of the, the little holes there and it's on there it's not going anywhere and then it's got this little holder so you can tidy it up. It's nice and slim, compact. No need for a um, frame bag. This one, you know, you're not gonna get much of any frame bag in here anyway. I do find it's a little bit difficult to have a water bottle in the cage with this here. Um, but lately I've been going without the bottle and we'll see why in just a second. So first things first, the uh, one thing that I always try to take with me is the GoPro. Um, I'm currently using the GoPro Hero 7 Black, and this is what I use for all of my uh, first person footage. Uh, it, I have a 128 gig storage card in there, and I have it uh, strapped to the official GoPro chesty mount. This one I found to be the most comfortable. It's nice and flexible and padded here. Um, I did have a cheap one that I got at Walmart and it was very plasticky and hard, uh, kind of uncomfortable to use. Just using the regular uh, mount uh, holder, whatever it is, whatever you call this thing that comes with the camera. I have that set up inside of here. And you could just go just like this. I found that there is a lot of wind noise. There's three microphones on the GoPro. There's one here, there's one on the top, and there's one on the other side here. So I picked up this foam uh, windscreen and it really helps to eliminate a lot of that uh, wind noise. So it just feeds in here. You gotta be a little bit careful with these because all the little openings and everything like that, they can tear easily. I started tearing mine here at the shutter button. And it just wraps around, work it on, and it fits pretty good. It gives it a little bit more uh, bulk, but you don't really notice it too much. Um, and it fits in there nicely. Kind of adds a little bit more protection as well, because it's soft. Um, but this, I found, helps a lot with the wind noise. And I mount that to the thing. The, the GoPro chest mount, I use it upside down so that way I can get more of a straightforward look at the trail versus looking down at my knees and stuff like that. I do have extra batteries. The one that comes with it, I think I've got one in here and I ordered uh, this set of orange batteries on Amazon. I think it was less than $20. Um, it came with a three pack of batteries, so I have four total batteries for the GoPro and it came with a uh, charging dock that holds three. It came as a package. Um, and I usually go through two to three batteries uh, per ride, depending on how long you go. Last weekend, I did uh, an hour and a half, and I went through all four batteries. 
So that's something to keep in mind if you're doing longer rides and you want to capture all that footage. Um, I have this Blackburn toolkit that I picked up at Walmart, at the local Walmart here. It doesn't come with everything in here. It does, however, come with all of these different uh, Allen heads. There's a screwdriver head, a Phillips head. There's a T25 in here, I believe. Yeah, that's a T25. So basically everything that you would need. I tested all of these on my bikes to make sure that I wasn't missing anything. Everything here's good. Even comes with a 10 millimeter socket. And that sticks right in there. Comes with two tire levers. Um, I put two additional in here and then three additional just in case they break. Comes with this ratcheting head that I really like. It's really convenient. You just put those tips in this side and it ratchets left and right. I really like that. Comes with this universal uh, 15 millimeter, eight millimeter, nine millimeter, 10 millimeter. Um, haven't had to use this. Haven't had to use any of this stuff yet, but I have it if I need it. And I have a little bit of extra storage in, inside of this little pouch. So I keep my CO2 inflator nozzle in here, just kind of like that. I put uh, extra tire levers in here just so I have them. I've got an adapter for Presta to Schrader. Just throw that in there. And then we've got a valve removal tool. Um, just throw that in there as well. And then I zip it closed. It's nice and compact, super small. I have three CO2 cartridges that I carry. Um, this came as a group. I think it came with one with the inflator and the, the foam sleeve. And then I've got two additional. These are just from Walmart as well. And they haven't had to be used yet. So hopefully that I won't have to use them, but I do have them if I need them. And I put everything inside of this uh, hydration pack. It's from v Vibrelli, Vibrelli, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, this is the second one that I've gotten and it is a lot more compact than the last one that I had. So it's pretty small, it holds two liters of water inside the included bladder that's back here in the back. And it just rests inside of here. Typical bladder pack, um, your hose super long or you can make it super short depending on you know what you want. I adjusted mine um, and it's got the two straps, it's got the stomach strap and then it's got the, or the stomach or the lower strap here and then the sternum strap here. It's got additional hooks for stuff. Um, you can attach more things here if you want to, a bunch of little uh, hooks. It's got this mesh uh, mesh thing that I just stick my gloves in sometimes. Um, I found recently that I like to just put my GoPro batteries in here and then tighten this down. And I know that they're not gonna go anywhere. And then everything else goes in this main pouch. I just take the Blackburn bag, I stuff it in the bottom, make sure it's nice and flat. Take the CO2s, dump them on top, and then fill it up with water. It's usually easier to fill up with water first and then put your things in, um, but either way works. Um, and these are the gloves that I use. These are just some cheap gloves, more okay. Uh, I've got these on Amazon. They've got nice palm padding, little silicone -y grip, um, and they're touchscreen or smartphone compatible, so you can use your phone with these gloves on. You don't have to take them off. Super handy. And the last thing, of course, is the helmet. This is the Giro, Giro, Gyro uh, fixture helmet. It's got the MIPS protection. Uh, it's got the little removable visor. I just leave it on. Um, haven't had any crashes yet, but obviously good thing to have. Uh, make sure that you're practicing safe riding. Always wear a helmet at least. Um, but this is all I carry with me um, on the trail rides. Very minimal. Um, I think that it's good enough. It, that's all I have for this one. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys carry, if you carry more or less. Um, how do you carry it? Do you carry it on the bike? Do you have a basket? Do you have a rack? Uh, bike bag, uh, frame bag, 
saddlebag, whatever it is. Let me know um, and then how it works out for you. I'd be interested to see how y'all are carrying all your stuff. That's all for this one. Happy New Year again. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.